Embarrassing internal documents and emails from Sony Pictures are out there for the world to see this morning following that massive hack attack against the company. The cyber attack could stem from the controversial film The Interview, which led to an awkward premiere last night in Hollywood. NBC's Joe Fryer has the details. Joe, good morning. Good morning, Jose. The impact of the Sony Pictures hack could be felt last night at the premiere for the movie The Interview, the controversial comedy that might be the reason behind this cyber attack. No broadcast media was allowed for an unusual Hollywood event. The theater marquee promoted a huge premiere, but the red carpet felt somewhat empty with no TV news cameras, no reporters. The fact that there's no red carpet tonight. And no interviews for a movie called The Interview. Access Hollywood's Billy Bush attended the screening. No, I've never seen a premiere like this one. There were more security here tonight than there were fans. Sony was trying to not celebrate not make it a spectacle. The massive Sony cyber attack has exposed personal information like social security numbers and salaries for employees, stars and execs, plus private communications including an email exchange between producer Scott Rudin and Sony Pictures chair Amy Pascal, first reported by BuzzFeed. Wondering what movies President Obama might enjoy, the two mentioned films featuring African American stars. Should I ask him if he liked Django, Pascal asks. Rudin replies, 12 years or the butler or think like a man Pascal writes ride along I bet he likes Kevin Hart Rudin says I think the culture of Hollywood will probably change a bit from this I think people are thinking twice about what they put in emails I think studios are thinking twice about their security protocols both Rudin and Pascal issued apologies Rudin says they made a series of remarks that were meant only to be funny but in the cold light of day they are in fact thoughtless and insensitive Pascal tells deadline.com I'm so disappointed in myself that I would have had such a lapse in my thinking of all the things I thought might be said about me this was the last one federal investigators are still trying to identify the hackers who call themselves guardians of peace whoever did this is definitely personal and they're seeing a victim they've already beaten up sony and they're kicking again and again and again and we don't know when that's going to stop the interview will be released on Christmas. Cybersecurity experts say this remains an unpredictable environment. No one knows what, if any, information will be released next. Sony plans to address its employees at a town hall meeting.